I'm Dr. Sandra Mandlowitz, a psychologist in the Outpatient Psychiatry Program here at the Hospital for Sick Children. Today we're going to talk about anxiety. So who doesn't have anxiety? Well, my guess is everyone has a little. Having anxiety actually is good. It protects us, for example, by stopping us from running out into the street. It can also help us be more alert and pay attention to situations. However, sometimes anxiety can be overwhelming and it stops us from doing things that we need to do, like speaking to others or going places or writing a test or even handing in a paper. Sometimes anxiety causes us to worry too much about things we actually don't need to worry about and we just can't get the thoughts out of our head. Sound familiar? When anxiety interferes with our ability to do things that just seem natural, when it causes stomach aches or makes us feel shaky or jittery, or even worse, we start avoiding things, this is problematic because it's interfering with our lives. Anxiety not only makes us feel stressed and upset, it can make us feel sad. This type of anxiety is called an anxiety disorder. People are often scared of the word disorder. They think it means they're crazy, but they're not. It just means the symptoms interfere with school or family or friends or work or, or all four of them. So there's both good news and not so good news. And the not so good news is anxiety can actually get worse. The good news is there's help out there. If you want help, you can get it and feel less anxious. So if you're a kid, tell your parents you want help. And if you're a parent, take your child to the doctor who can help you find the appropriate mental health professional, like a psychologist or a psychiatrist or a social worker who can help you and your child learn strategies to cope so you can learn how to manage your anxiety. Maybe then you won't be so stressed and for sure you'll be happier. So here are some quick tips to help you, your child, or someone you know manage your anxiety. First, pay attention to what's happening and how you're feeling because recognizing anxiety is important. Second, take some calming breaths. It'll help you calm down and think clearly. Next, think about what's realistic, not the what ifs. And most important, don't avoid. Your best way to get over your fear is to actually go through it. If you're a parent, model confidence. Remember, fear is about something being exaggerated in your brain. So, make a plan, break the problem up into steps, and challenge yourself. You'll be happier, healthier, and proud.